go out today. New day. Same people. <laughs> <laughs> we're out today, back at the outlets, kind of, I think. We're going to get pizza for lunch because we're hungry. Well, breakfast last lunch, so. Brunch. Brunch, you. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today, it's like super early in the morning time, y'all. And I'm up because, you know, my sister has moved. So I was like, I have things to get done. So today, I am going to go buy a ring light camera for my door. Because the apartments are, you know, they're kind of sketchy and they come into your house without even telling you or calling you first so i'm gonna go buy me a ring light to put it on front of my door and then i'm going to i have so much to do today i don't even know if i'm gonna get it all done like i want to clean my apartment to the t i want to go do doordash <laughs> i want to do my hair today you know what i can do it all you know what i'm gonna challenge myself to get it all done today. I probably won't do a lot of talking. Might be doing a whole bunch of moving, but I'm determined to get everything done today. It's 7 a.m. I'm out of bed. I got up. So you know today is gonna be productive and I'm gonna come back home and get my rest. So 7 a.m. My um I just got an email from my Nestle people, my water, these things. And they said that it's on the way. So I'm gonna set these outside. Um, so I can get this out the way because they've been in here for months and months and months and I'm going to get them out the way. So, we're going to go ahead and set all these outside because they're on the way and they're going to deliver, they're going to, they're going to uh, deliver my water between now and 8 a.m. So I'm going to go ahead and set these outside and then I'm going to get ready and then we're going to go to Home Depot to buy the ring light. So let's go ahead and get this day kicking and moving now. the difference mm. 
I like this one. Oh, that's a flood like one. Let's see which one I want to get. Okay, so I'm home now. So they said to fully charge the battery for a while until it fully charges. So I have it right here. So while this is charging, I'm going to probably install it and then wash dishes. So I can give it time for it to charge. So step one, charge the provided battery. Hey guys, so I'm back. I got my ring light camera or whatever it is installed. It took me about two hours, but I had to figure it out. I was going to figure it out and I did. And it's so, I feel much more, you know, sorry y'all. I feel much more at, um, at peace and ease living there. Now, since my sister isn't like one phone call away, I have to protect myself. So I'm glad I got the ring light. Um, not a ring light, y'all. It's a camera. I'm glad I got the camera. So I feel much more safer. Safer. Like whenever I leave my home, and it sends a signal. Like whenever you, like whenever I, you know, like leave my front door, it. It, it signals so i was like oh awesome that's cool so anybody that comes to my door i get a little ding on my phone and it tells me who's at my door so yeah and, and my water guy came just now so i got all those bottles out of my house so now it's like 10 45 i'm headed to target to, to to exchange some things um that i brought the other day bought them two little so I'm gonna go exchange those and pick up some red tomatoes and probably some kale because I wanna cook this pasta dish that I was supposed to record for um for one of my subscribers they want to see how I make it I guess so I'm going to record that today I'm going to go clean up my home and then I wanna go dash like today so I was gonna go dash now real quick while it's still kind of early and it was lunchtime. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go dash today. Like, after I leave Target, I'm gonna head to my area and I'm gonna go dash. Cause I wanna dash for a couple of hours today while it's kind of busy and it's still daylight outside. So, when I get done, like, on five o'clock, I'll be able to come home for about two, three hours, clean my entire home, and then rest. For the day, I was just about to cook, but I was like, no. But, but I like going to tar to like Target whenever it's like, um, whenever it's not busy at Target and it's less people, so that's why that's why I'm heading there now. So, Target, I'm already arrived at Target, Target, like right here, like right by my house, now we're far from my house. Um, so yeah, I'm at Target. I'll see you guys whenever I get in Target. Bye. So I'm back home. My target trip was a success. I got the right size that I need. I picked up some more. Um, I picked up some more of these cauliflower wings. This time it's a new flavor. So I got the garlic parmesan. I'm excited for this. So I'm gonna try this probably for dinner. Maybe not, I'm not sure. I'll try them soon and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. And then I got some more um, 
baked tomatoes for the recipe that I'm gonna make in a little bit. Bought some more of these, and then that's all I brought. So, yeah, I'm about to make me a quick egg and cheese McMuffin at home, and we're gonna eat, maybe watch a couple of vlogs, and then head out to, do, to go to do DoorDash. So, yeah. So I'm back. It's 11 o'clock at night and I'm just getting to my hair, but thank God I'm getting to it before the day ends. So, um, I remember in a recent vlog, I was going to show you guys my problem area in my hair. You guys see it's not the top or the middle. It's the back of my hair and my hair, um, in the back is a super tight um coily type of curls and those curls are prone to breakage a lot more and me not really taking like the care of my hair how i should um i most of the time like you know after i put in my protective style i just leave my hair up for a whole month you know don't really do much to it don't really spray it or moisturize it or anything like that but um this time around i want to hair because i want to grow this section out to to at least get half of the size of my section up here um so my problem area is the back let me show you guys real quick what it looks like and then i'm show you guys and then i'm gonna tell you guys what i'm gonna do to actually keep it moisturized and to keep it growing hopefully it stays in so this is the back of my hair right here all the section right here is my problem area. All this. So I was just I was just about to braid my hair. That's why I parted it like that. But I was like, oh what? I have to show them my hair. So this is how it looks right now. This is the very short of my hair. And when I pull it out, you know, you can see a little bit more hair than what I really, really have because my hair is 4C, so it draws up tremendously whenever, you know, it's not being pulled. But anyways, I'm about to braid my hair. And then I'm going to add hair to it um, so I can add in the crochet hair. So I was watching this girl on YouTube and her hair breaks off like mine. So what it did, it doesn't anymore because she fixed it, I guess. And then she's keeping it more, you know, moisturized now. Um, so she said, so what she did was she got gel and she just put a lot on the section and she kept it separated from her, from her regular, from her good hair. And then she said after two or three months she said her hair was was already half the size of her original hair because she kept it moisturized night and day kept it moisturized night and day so what i'm gonna do i'm going to do the same thing i'm gonna baby the back of my hair like it's my own baby every day i'm gonna um spray a little water spray a little um spray spray on my hair and then every other day I'm going to grease my scalp with the grease, like the brush spray. I've always used this. I have always used this spray on my hair. It's been I've been using this ever since I've been having braids for years, years and years ago. This stuff I just got the other day because I want to try it on my scalp and see if that keeps my scalp from itching. Because my hair itches a lot whenever I have it braided, so I put this all through my scalp whenever I was braiding it. So hopefully that helps. But anyways, I want to go ahead and get it back braided, and I'll show you guys how it looks when I'm done braiding it. Um, yeah, so I was just showing you guys the back of my problem area and my hair. Okay, so the back of my hair is done, and this is how it's braided. I braided it going this way because that's how my neck goes, like my, my hairline goes like that, so I braided my hair like that, so... 
But anyways, I added hair and then the rest of the hair left over. I just looped it, you know, throughout the braid so it can stay up there. But yeah, this is how my hair came out. And I kind of did not want to put braids in it because it was a struggle trying to braid my hair because it's so, so, um, it's not really short. I could throw some braids in there, but I, I'm not going to throw that many. I might add two or three per braid. I probably I may just add one or two per braid because I don't want to pull it at all. I wanted it to stay in place and, you know, intact because, yeah. But I'm happy I was able to pull it all together and just to braid it this time because when I took out my last braids, my hair was completely gone. And I know it was my fault because I did not um, keep, it, keep, keep it moisturized. So going forward, I am and I will. And I'm going to show you guys next month, probably around the 15th. When I take out my braids for the 15th, I'm going to give you guys an update of how much my hair grew. So in the back. So I'll see you guys probably tomorrow because the video is I'm getting tired of recording, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my hair, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow, I'm washing clothes now. Sorry. Tomorrow, I go back to work at 2 o'clock, so I'll come back to you guys maybe a little, a little bit before that. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.